Episode 43, File DIR. This is Chris Grabowski. I wanted to do a demonstration on File DIR. This is a Windows Explorer replacement that is very speech friendly and accessible with screen readers. It is very keyboard driven and there are lots and lots of commands. You can download your copy from empowermentzone.com and that's www.empowermentzone.com. The direct URL to the file is www.empowermentzone.com slash D-I-R-S-E-T-U-P dot E-X-E. Now I'm going to start the program. File D. I'm at the desktop, and I'm going to press enter on the shortcut. File D. M. List. Books. Now it remembers the last folder that you were in, and this is also a multi uh document window interface so you can have multiple tabs open at one time. I'm going to press the alt key and go to the menu bar. File alt F. And I'm going to scroll to the right. Edit alt T. Query alt Q. Navigate alt M. Miss call alt M. Window alt W. Help alt H. File alt F. Now I'm going to go down. Refresh folder F5. So it says refresh folder dot or F5. The dot is a period. So instead of reaching up and hitting F5, if you have your home, your fingers on the home row, you can just hit the dot key or the period key, and that will uh, refresh the current folder. New item, copy, control, shift, 10. New folder, control, and in. So new folder is control, N, as in Nancy. Open folder, control, O, O. Go to folder, control, G, G. Open special folder, control, shift, O. Go to special folder, control, shift, G. Open drive, alt, O. Go to drive. Alt G. So as if you as if you see, there seem to be two commands for for some of these items. There's open and there's go to. Uh, open will open the folder or the drive in a new tab, and go to will reuse your current tab. Um, that took a little bit of getting used to for me because I was so used to hitting enter on a folder and it would open the contents of that folder in the same window or tab. But in Filder's case, if you wanted to do that, you would hit Shift Enter. Open virtual folder, Alt Shift O. Go to virtual folder, Alt Shift G. Open parent folder backspace. So you can backspace out. Go to parent folder or Shift backspace. And you can go to, and that would be reusing the same window. Open root folder. Go to root folder Shift. And that would be backslash. I have my punctuation off. Open quick folder control Q. Go to quick folder. Quick shortcut, shift Q. Quick URL, alt shift Q. File find, alt shift F. Properties, alt enter. Open item enter. Go to item shift enter. Print control PP. Recent folders, alt R. Window toggle shift W. Current windows, F4. So you can get current windows, how many windows you have open within the program. Next window control tab or alt right arrow. Previous window control shift tab or alt left arrow. Close window control F4C. Close all but current window control shift F4. Exit file the alt F4X. Restart windows alt shift F4. Refresh folder F5. And then we're back to the top of the menu. So I'm going to hit escape. M. List. And I'm going to go to the right. Book edit alt T. Go down. Tag and next door shift down arrow. Untag and next door alt shift down arrow. Tag and previous shift up arrow. Untag and previous alt shift up arrow. Tag to bottom shift end. So this is when they when they're talking about tagging, they're talking about selecting uh, files for copy, for move, for delete. Untag to bottom alt shift end. Tag to top shift home. Untag to top alt shift home. Tag or shift numpad five. Untag slash or alt shift numpad five. Toggle tag space. Tag all control a. Untag all control shift a. Tag all files alt. Tag duplicate files alt shift. Tag with regular expression. Untag all but current alt. Okay, so you can do a lot with this. So I'm going to hit the escape key. M. Query alt Q. 
This is one that I like, and that's query, and this is how you find out information. So instead of the files and folders being in a list view and you hearing uh, the date that it was modified, the size, and all that stuff every time you go up and down, you can request that on demand. Contact Shift D. So if you wanted to know the date of a file, you would hit Shift D. List Control L. If you wanted a list of files, you would press Control L, and this just spits out the files in a li in a list. You can't up and down arrow through this list when it was spoken, but it just sends it out to the synthesizer. List tag shift L. This is will list your selected. Selected shift space. This shows which ones are selected. List files all tell. Path alt P. That gives you the path to the file. Size shift S. That gives you the size shift S. Type shift T. Type is Shift T if it's an MP3, if it's a wave, if it's a EXE, if it's a doc. Type Extended Control Shift T. Windows Open Shift F4 or Alt Numpad 5. Yield Control Y. Yield Dead Shift Y. So Yield will give you information such as how many files are in the folder and how what size they are. And Yield Selected will give you the same information but just with the selected or tagged files that you have. Yield files Alt Y. Yield on drive control Shift Y. Yield in operating system Alt Shift Y. Status Alt Z. That's your status bar Alt Z. Character encoding Shift 2 or percent 3 Shift 5 or percent. Filter and order Shift 8. Item name. Folder name Shift. Folder control. Clipboard Alt. Time Alt. What content? So there's a lot of Time roll. things that you can do. I'll escape out of here. Books. Then I'm going to go to the right. Navigate all 10. And then I'm going to down arrow. N jump. Control J J. Jump again Alt J. Keywords. Control K K. Keywords again Alt K. Set filter. Control F F. Clear filter. Control Shift F. Beginning file Alt B. Beginning tag Shift B or Control Home. So a beginning file would be if you had a bunch of folders and the files, you could just jump to the first file in the list. End tag shift E or control next tag shift 10 or control down arrow. Previous tag shift P or control up arrow. Initial change shift I. Extension change shift X. Jump control J J. So there's quite a bit. Escape. M. Miss call 10. And then here's a miscellaneous option. So I am going to hit the down arrow key. Configuration options alt shift C. Manual options, Alt Shift M. Extra speech toggle control, Shift X. Extra speech log, Alt Shift X. Extra speech would be things like open, uh, done, you know, the different speech prompts. Environment variables, control E. Recycle toggle, Alt Shift R. Recycle bin control B. Date order, Alt D. This is the date order. This is how you would sort. Um, if you want your files sorted by date, you'd hit Alt D. Reverse date order, Alt Shift D. If you want to reverse the date order, you do Alt Shift D. Alpha order, Alt A. Alphabetical, you'd hit Alt A. Reverse alpha order, Alt Shift A. Reverse alpha order, you'd hit Alt Shift A. Size order, Alt S. The size order is Alt S. Reverse size order, Alt Shift S. Reverse is Alt Shift S. Type order, Alt T. Type is Alt T. Reverse type order, Alt Shift T. Reverse sort type is Alt Shift T. Send to word processor, Control W. Send the file to the word processor is Control W. Send to text editor, Control T. Send to your default text editor is Control T. And Empowerment Zone also has a pretty nice uh, speech friendly text editor called Ed Sharp. Output to text Shift O. Append to clipboard Shift A. Convert encode and Control 2. Extract with regular expression, Control Shift E. Burn to CD, Alt Shift B. And you can burn to CD with Alt Shift B. Mail body, Control M. You can mail it as a as the, in the body of a message, say it's a text file. Mail attachment, Control Shift M. You can mail it as an attachment with Control Shift M. Batch mail, Control Shift B. And then you can batch mail, I'm not sure what that would be. Zip, Shift Z. There's how you would zip. Zip then delete, Control Z. Zip then delete. Zip list, Control Shift Z. Zip a list of files that you might have in a text file. You can zip them all into one file and it uses the text file. Unarchive shift U. This is how you would unzip or unarchive. Unarchive without subfolders control U. Unarchive to same name control shift U. Unarchive password alt shift U. Unarchive test alt U. Command prompt control slash. Explore directory alt slash. FTP port. Sh get FTP. Shift G. Web download. Alt shift W. Web Client Utilities, Evaluate Expression, 
Convert units. Start timer. F stop timer shift F12. Playlist control shift L. You can actually create a playlist. Iterate processes. I'm not going through all of these or explaining all of them because some of them are self-explanatory and some of them are are pretty advanced. But this is, a, as you can see, it's a powerful file manager just from the menus alone. So I'm going to escape. M. Window Alt W. And I'm going to go into the icons, Alt F, Cascade Control F11. So you have window options as well. So I am going to press escape and I have books. We arrange icons all F11. Whoops. Let's exit out of the menu. M. Books. Okay. Now I'm at books. Media library. I have my media library. Movies. Movies. Old time radio. And old time radio. So I'm going to go up. To Movies. Me- books. Books. And I want to know the the date that this folder was created. So I'm going to hit shift D. Date. Saturday, June 2nd, 2012 at 7 hours, 26 minutes and 52 seconds a.m. And I'm going to scroll down. Media library. Same thing. I'm going to hit Shift D. Date. Thursday, January 12th, 2012 at 4 hours, 59 minutes and 3 seconds p.m. Let's go up to books. Books. Press enter. Open. 19 items. M. Books. List. A Christmas Carol. So if you noticed, it said 19 items, which means there are 19 items in this folder. And it read the first item which is a Christmas Carol. Now let me see the type of the file, because I'm not sure if this is a file or if it's a folder or what is it. So I'm going to press Shift T. Type blank folder. So it told me it's a folder. And the green gables. Scroll down. Bad business. Scroll down. Black lightning. Scroll down. Blood and ice. Scroll down. Dark empire. Scroll down. Dark forces. Graphic audio. I'm going to press enter on graphic audio. Open. 13 items. M. Books graphic audio. List. A Lone Star Christmas. So now it said M. Books graphic audio. So that told me the path of where these, where I am now. I can repeat that by pressing Alt P. Path. M. Books graphic audio. A Lone Star Christmas. I can also copy it to the clipboard by doing Alt Shift P. Path to clipboard. M. Book. And I just did that. And I'm going to scroll down. A Town Called Fury. Charles G. West. So I have books called uh, by an author called Charles G. West. I am going to copy these to another folder on my hard drive. So I'm going to do Control C to copy, just as normal. Um, there is a way you can do Shift C and, and uh, use a file there away, but I am just going to do Control C. Copy current folder none. Okay, it's a copy current folder done. Now I am going to do. Alt O to bring up the drive list. Open pick list C fixed gateway. D C D ROM E removable F removable L fixed slipper drive briefcase M network media. So I'm going to go up to C. C fixed gateway. Press enter. File bit C list dollar sign A V G. And then I'm going to press the letter G to move down to my graphic audio folder because I have a graphic audio folder on drive C. So I'm going to do that. G Graphic audio. And I'm going to press enter. Open. Five items. C. Graphic audio. List. A town called Fury. Now I'm going to do control V as in Victor. Paste copy. Charles G. West. So now it's copying the folder from my network attached storage device to my hard drive on my computer. 25 <laughs> seconds remaining dialogue copying 42 items to 2.31 GB from graphic audio M. Books graphic audio to graphic audio C. Graphic audio about 25 seconds remaining name. CW04P05.mp3 from graphic audio M. Books graphic audio to graphic audio C. Graphic audio time remaining about 25 seconds items remaining. 28 1.55 GB speed. 70.7 megabytes slash second. Filed it. C. Graphic audio. List a town called Fury. So now it's done. Batman Inferno, Charles G. West. And there I am. I'm going to press enter. Open five items. C. Graphic audio, Charles G. West. List dual at Lohawk. Now I'm going to do Control A to select all. Tag all dual at Lohawk. And then I'm going to do Shift Space because I want to see what is selected. Five tagged folders dual at Lohawk, Lawless Prairie. Luke's Gold, Range War in Whiskey Hill, Tanner's Law. 
And then I'm going to do a, I think it will shift Y for the yield for selected files. So let's try that. Yield tagged, five folders, 2,489,826,573 bytes. So that just told me how many, how big these files are. And that's kind of important to me right now because I'm going to use file dir to burn these books to cd or actually to dvd so i'm going to put a dvd in and then i'm going to go back to the menu bar because i don't remember the hotkey for burning a cd so i'm going to do that File all tip. Help all window. Miss call tip. We configure window volume network connect. Inquire difference. Iterate process playlist. Stop top start converting. Evaluate web client web down. I'm now checking FTP, for your updates. Explore the command prop. Anarchy 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 zip list zip zip batch mail mail it mail burn to extract burn to CD alt shift B alt shift B. So I'm going to press enter. Burn to CD five tagged folders. CD burner is not ready. C. Graphic Audio Charles G. West. List. Dual at Lohawk. So it told me the CD burner was not ready. Let me try Alt-Shift-B again. Burn to CD. Five tagged folders. No previous sessions found. Burning. Zero percent. Zero percent. Zero percent. Okay, so as you can see, I am burning those tagged files 1%. to a DVD, and you're getting 2%. you're getting percentages as it's going along. Two percent. Three percent. And I'm going to pause the recording here for a minute so we don't have to listen to the four percent all the way to one hundred percent. Okay, so the CD is now complete. And one another thing I wanted to show was to go to special folder command, which is control shift G. Go to special folder, pick list 0409. Now this is gonna give you a list of special folders that you can go to, and one of them is my documents, but let's go here. Administrative tools, administrative tools, Chris, common files, cookies, desktop, favorites, fonts, internet cache, Internet history, local, my documents, my music, my pictures, my videos. So you can go to all these different folders. Network shortcuts, OEM links, printer shortcuts, program files, program data, programs, programs, public desktop, public documents, public music, public pictures, public videos, recent items, resources, roaming. And you can even go into the roaming or the app data folder. Sent to. So you can go to all these different places. So I'm going to hit M to go to my documents. M, my documents. And I'm going to press enter. File D, C, users Chris documents, list Amazon MP3. And then I'm going to press the backspace key one time. Although I could have went to the Chris folder, but I'm going to go, I do it the hard way. So I'm going to go backspace once. Open parent folder, 55 items, C, users Chris, list documents. And I'm going to go down. Downloads. To downloads and press enter. Open. 357 items. C. Users Chris downloads. List. 1A Town Called Fury. 1 Blood Valley. 1 Hangman's. 1 The Clone. 1 The Dork. 2 Devil's Dew. 2 Hard Country. 2 Six Ways from Sunday. Then I'm going to go to the bottom of the list by pressing end. Zender 0. 8. 3 9th Zelda I The Adventures of Link. Don't zip. That's a zip file, so now let's press enter. Open. 11 items. C. Users Chris downloads Elder I The Adventures of Link. Zip. List. Zelda I The Adventures of Link slash Boundary. Wav. Zelda I The Adventures of Link slash Dismiss Buffer. Wav. Okay, so now we are actually in the zip file. So if I press enter now, it's going to open this wave file in my default player. Run with temp for <coughs> my PLA no name. List. One title, dismiss. Okay, so it loaded it in my MP3 player of choice, which is my player. That could be a topic for another podcast. So I'm going to close out of here. File D. C. Users Chris downloads Elder I The Adventures of Link. Zip. List. Zelda I The Adventures of Link slash dismiss buffer. And then I'm going to backspace out. Open root folder. 
90 items. C. List. Dollar sign AVG. Whoops, I went out too far. I actually hit the backsp- backslash key instead of the backspace key, which backslash takes you to the root of the drive that you're on. And I'm going to do control tab. Next window. C. Users Chris documents. List. Amazon MP3. Next window. C. Users Chris. List. Downloads. Next window. C. Users Chris downloads. List. Zelda I the Adventures of Link Dogzip. So as you can see, I'm using control tab to cycle through my open tabs and I'm going to press enter. Open. Returning. 357 items. C. Users Chris downloads. List. 1A Town Called Fury. And there we are. I'm back in my downloads list. Now I can press F4. Current pick. List. C. And instead of control tabbing and control shift tabbing through all my open windows, I now have a list. Chris. Documents. Downloads. Down. Doc, Chris. So I'm going to hit enter. File D. C. Users Chris. List. Downloads. Okay. Now, I do want to go to the root directory, so I am going to hit the backslash key. Open root folder. Returning. 90 items. C. List. Dollar sign AVG. Then I'm going to go to back to my graphic audio folder. So I'm going to go G. G. Graphic audio. And then I'm going to hit enter. Open. Six items. C. Graphic audio. List. A town called Fury. Batman Inferno. Charles G. West. There's the Charles G. West folder. And I am going to press enter. Open. Five items. C. Graphic audio. Charles G. West. List. Dual at Lohawk. And I am going to... Lawless Prairie. Luke's got Range War in Whiskey Hill. Going to go here. Open. Seven items. C. Graphic Audio Charles G. West Range War in Whiskey Hill. List. Charles G. West Range War in Whiskey Hill. M3U. Now what I'm going to do is... CW03.jpg. CW03p01.mp3. It's an mp3 file. I'm going to hit the space bar. Charles G. West Range CW03P02.mp3. Space bar again. Charles G. West CW03P03.mp3. Space bar again. Charles G. West Range CW03P04.mp3. Space bar again. Charles G. West CW03P05.mp3. Space bar again. Charles G. West Range War in Whiskey Hill.m3. You not selected. CW03P05.mp3. And then I'm going to do a shift space. Five tagged files. CW03P01.mp3. CW03P02.mp3. CW03P03.mp3. CW03P04.mp3. CW03P05.mp3. Now I've never done this on multiple files, but I'm going to do a shift D and see what the date says. Date. Saturday, August 4th. 2012 at 12 hours, 0 minutes, and 0 seconds a.m. Okay, I'm not sure which one it actually used. It probably did the first one. So I'm going to do Shift-Y for the yield. Yield tagged. Five files. 463,266,209 bytes. Now, let's say I want to create a playlist out of these five files. I can do um, either select from the miscellaneous menu or do Control-Shift-L. Playlist. Five tagged files. Save as dialogue file name. File name. File name. Combo box collapsed. Edit all ten. Selected C. Graphic audio Charles G. West Strange War in Whiskey Hill Playlist. M3U. So now it wants to call it C. Graphic Playlist. M3U. So I am going to press enter to accept that. File D. C. Graphic audio Charles G. West Strange War in Whiskey Hill. List. CW0. CW playlist.m3u. And there it is. Now I just created this playlist. If I press enter, it's going to load this playlist in my media player. So I'm going to press enter. Run. Unknown. My PLSE. Grab. And there it is. Two artists. JD Towns and Lean Back. Three artists. Out. It was past noon when he called the box. Okay. So I'm going to close out of here. File D. C. Graphic Audio Charles G. West Strange War in Whiskey Hill. List. Playlist.m3u. And because I have these backed up, I'm going to hit my backspace key one time. Open parent folder. Returning. Five items. C. Graphic Audio Charles G. West. List. Backspace again. Run. Open parent folder. 
Returning. Six items. C. Graphic audio. List. A town called Fury, not Greenland, Justice League, Green, Charles G. West. There it is. I'm going to do Shift D. Date. Wednesday, October 17th, 2000. Shift S. At size. 2,489,826,926. Now I'm going to sort it uh, alphabetically, but reversed. So let's do a Alt Shift A. Reverse Alpha Order. Green Lantern Heroes Quest not selected. Trailer the Gunfighter. Justice League of the Green Lantern Heroes Quest. Down. Charles G. Batman Infer. A town called. And there we go. So now let's do Alt A to set this to Alpha Order. Alpha Order. Trailer the Gunfighter not selected. A town called Fury. I could sort by date with Alt Shift D or Alt D. Alt D. Date Order. A town called Fury. Justice League of America Exterminators. Green Lantern Heroes Quest. Let's see when this folder was created. Date. Saturday, July 21st, 2012 at 10 hours, 4 minutes, and 57 seconds a.m. Batman Inferno. Trailer the gun. Charles G. Okay, good. Now let's reverse the date order. So we'll do Alt Shift D. Reverse date order. A town called Fury not selected. Charles G. West. So now Charles G. West is actually at the top, and it is the latest folder. This is the one I just created. Trailer the Gunfighter, Charles G. West. So we can verify this by doing Shift D. Date, Wednesday, October 17th, 2012, the Trailer the Gunfighter. And then we'll check this one. Date, Sunday, October 14th, 2012, at 8 hours, 11 minutes, and 7 seconds a.m. So now we'll press Alt A to set this back to Alpha Order. Alpha Order, Batman Inferno not selected, a town called Fury. Let's do size and see what size does. So we're going to sort it by size. Size order, a town called Fury. And that was Alt S. So, a town called Fury. Batman Inferno, Green Lantern Heroes Quest, Justice League of America X, Trailer the Gunfighter, Charles G. West. Okay, it sound, it's it must have done it. it D. Not, okay, so. Trailer the Gunfighter, Charles G. West. Set this back to Alpha Order. Alpha Order, Trailer the Gunfighter, a town called Bat Charles G. West. Batman, a town, Batman Inferno. Charles G. West, Green Lantern Heroes Quest. Justice League of America X to Charles G. West. And then I'm going to hit the delete key. Confirm dial, I'm sure. Charles G. West, no button, all 10. And I'm sure. Cancel button, yes button, alt Y. File D. C. Graphic audio. List. Green Lantern Heroes Quest. Green Lantern Heroes Quest. So now it just deleted that folder. I'm going to press Alt F4 to close file DIR. A. Unknown. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this demonstration of file DIR from EmpowermentZone.com. Um, I use this as my Windows Explorer replacement. I don't even use Windows Explorer anymore. I just use file DIR. I find it a really nice, speech-friendly program, and once you get the hang of it, it's very nice. My contact information follows. Hi there, my name is Joey. And my name is Kimberly. Thanks for listening to the Mystic Place blog and podcast. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. Joey. Yes, Kimberly. It is my turn to talk. Okay. Thanks, Joey. No problem. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to send an email to mysticplacepodcast at gmail.com or leave a voice message at 864. Mystic 4, that is 864-697-8424 or follow him on Twitter at cgrabo73. You can visit the blog at www.mysticplacepodcast.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast by searching in iTunes or at www.mysticplacepodcast.com slash question feed equals podcast to your podcatcher. Have a nice day. Take care.